Alright, so for today's video, I'm actually making um, a tutorial on how you can use your high-level sub account um, in replacement for Calendly. Okay, so for newbies, most likely first time you narinig yung Calendly. What is it? So Calendly allows you to connect your calendar para magkaroon kayo ng unique um, calendar URL para if you have any clients, people who would like to talk to you, uh, they can go to that URL in order for them to select a time um, a time when you're available for a meeting okay so this is the calendly pricing right now so if you would notice uh, for a free account normally you can only connect one calendar okay but if you have multiple calendars you have to get a standard plan which is at ten dollars per seat so for today my tutorial is about how you can actually save yung ten dollars na yan and use your high level account para ROI na kagad kayo having your sub account na for 399 pesos only alright so how are we gonna do that so again for everyone's information this is how it looks like if you have your Calendly meaning it will give uh, someone an availability to see when they can book a call from your calendar. So let's say here, I can select today. I can select a time na sync within your calendar. I can select submit and next. And then the lead will have the option to provide prior inf like um, any information you need before that meeting. Okay, so again, for today's video, I just want to show you how you can do this inside your high-level sub account. And the beauty of this, guys, is the fact that you can set up multiple calendars and there are different calendars um calendar types that you can set up within high level so if you have your account just go to the calendars tab uh, from the left hand menu and then from here the first thing that you're gonna do of course is to connect your calendar okay to do that you just have to click on calendars you will be routed to settings and then from here just go to connections tab and then once you're in the connections tab this is now where you're gonna be able to add or connect your calendar so just click on add new and then from here click on whichever calendar you're using so for me I'm using Google Calendar right now it also accepts um, integrations with Outlook Calendar iCloud um, it's not yet with Yahoo but if you have Calendly pwede nyo rin i-connect yung Calendly nyo if you still want to keep your Calendly subscription okay it's in, in beta right now so most likely, may mga ina-adjust pang settings dyan. But to make it easier, again, you want to use the free feature, right? So, you want to go ahead and collect uh, or connect your Gmail account. So, here, it will route or it will ask you to connect your Gmail account. So, let's just say I want to use my CC's uh, Gmail calendar or my personal calendar. All you need to do is select allow to be able to connect your calendar inside a uh, high level. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. Once this is done, you can close this a window but again please wait muna wag po kayong magmamadali just go ahead and wait until this is loaded successfully so this is done click on close and now you just have to go back so here you'd notice now you were routed to the settings of high level so just click on, on go back and click on the calendar section okay to know that it's actually now connected again go back to calendar settings and then from here go to connections and here okay you can now see that your google calendar is connected so what else what's next you have to make sure that you configure your calendar cor correctly because you have to be able to sync that calendar into high level to make sure na ano yung, kung ano yung availability na nilagay mo sa gmail mo it's gonna be the same thing as what is gonna be shown within your go high level calendar so to do that within the link calendar section click on add select your email and then from here if you have multiple calendars within your google calendar you just have to select which one so here i'm gonna choose my jc tan so you'd notice that if it's booked within your calendar magsasync din siya inside the system so this is an important step to make sure na your availability is accurate based on your gmail okay once that's done again that's gonna take um, a little bit for it to process to sync within high level the next thing that you want to do once this is done um, is you might want to go ahead and click on video conferencing because most of these appointments are I think virtual so you need to make sure that you connect the appropriate um, meeting location so if you are doing that through Google uh, Meet or if you're doing that through Zoom make sure that you connect your Zoom account so let's say this one I'm gonna go ahead and connect my personal let's say my personal Zoom so here you're just gonna go ahead and click on and your calendar or not the calendar but your account details for zoom click on allow 
Okay, so just connect that. And wait for a second. Couple of seconds, actually. So now you can see that that's connected for video conferencing. Uh, this is still syncing, so you can wait for a couple of bit, you know, for, for that to connect. By default, guys, this is in one-way sync. So meaning to say, naka, so if you click on advanced setting, balikan ko lang, no? Naka one-way sync siya. Make sure that you do two-way sync to make sure na if it's, alam yan, if it's booked within the Gmail calendar manually, magsa-sync din siya in the system. Okay, so here, okay, it's the loading. So I'll just wait and go back to that in a bit. So, once that's connected, okay, i-refresh din natin from time to time. Okay? Mm. Grabe, bawi na kagad yung binayad nyo sa sub account kasi hindi na kayo magbabayad ng Gmail. Alright, that's connected. You can click on advanced setting. Again, by, uh, please make sure to select. Ah, okay, sorry. Hindi pa siya naka two-way sync kasi hindi pa ako gumagawa ng calendar. So, for now, we'll leave it as one way. Okay? So, now that your calendar is connected, you can now go ahead and proceed with creating a calendar. So, ito na yung sinatawag natin na URL, like this one, na magagawa nyo within Go High Level. Okay? So, let's click on Create Calendar. And here, you will see that we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different calendar types. Okay? So, let me just go through this. Um, you know, like, what are the different types of calendars that you have available? Ano ba yung mostly na ginagamit, especially for us? Okay? I'll start with collective booking kasi most likely ito yung medyo less nating gagamitin. Um, I'll just make the other ones last yung, lag, yung gagamitin nyo as ngayon na talagang mag-work for you. Okay? So, what is collective booking? So, collective booking is applicable when you want multiple members to be able to join and talk to one lead. So, for example, there's five of you in your team, right? You have one lead. So, if you want to give that one lead an available, um, not availability, but a functionality na he can book that call and be able to um, talk to you, then you can go, I mean, talk to your entire team, then you can set up a collective um, calendar. So, parang simultaneously, ideal siya for sales call, technical call, para may option sila to select which person they'd like to talk to. Okay? Within the, within the members of your team. Okay? The other one is class booking. So, class booking, instead of one naman, so earlier, ba parang multiple members, one lead. In, in here, it, it, on this calendar naman, instead of one, you can have multiple people in that booking or meeting link. So, meaning, for example, 30 people can book one hour slot. Okay? So, you can do that within the class booking. So, applicable to mostly for, let's say, meeting, uh, not meeting, but class sessions, mga ganyan. So, that's the reason why it's called uh, class booking. So, there are 50 people in one hour na slot. Okay? So, what about round robin? So, this is um, almost similar to collective booking, pero si round robin naman, it can actually check from the members of your team. So, let's say, sampu kayo sa team ninyo, you want the system to be able to select yung availabilities ng multiple members na to, then the system can do that, okay? And they can, the system can do that equally. So, may, you know, the system knows exactly kung sino available ng 9am, ng 10am, it check niya lahat ng calendar sync, okay? So, if you're planning to do any of these, of course, since it requires multiple members, you have to make sure that all those calendars are connected within high level, okay? Uh, what else? So, ito na yung sinasabi kong mostly use and my favorite, Okay? If you're just planning to have one calendar link, meaning ano lang, discovery call lang, you can definitely just set up a simple calendar. So, this is one lead and then you directly. But if you want to have multiple options, meaning service calendar, ito normally yung ginagamit, let's say, for... Um, for, you know, for businesses na may multiple offers. So, kun kunwari, nail salon, no? Meron silang manicure, may pedicure. So, pwede kang magbook ng manicure, pwede kang magbook ng pedicure. So, pwede kang magkaroon ng ganong service options within your calendar. So, actually, this is, this is also perfect, no? For us. So, either, you know, your lead can book a discovery call or they can book let's say, a paid consultation call. So, pwede nyo rin gawin yon Or, let's say, the other link is routing them to book a kick off call pwede din yon or pwede kang gumawa ng simple calendar to alam yan to separate those different calendars so it's really gonna be up to you okay but in on on this example i'm just gonna go ahead and do let's say a uh, service calendar kasi gusto ko kunare ano um i will have a service calendar for my JTVA team okay so here i can select uh you know multiple staff members to manage this calendar but for now let's just say it's just gonna be me 
tapos you can set up your custom wid widget so in you know instead of just you know random the widget bookings you can have it branded under your name so for example jtva um, calendar okay pwede nyo rin lagay dyan discovery call kung direct na discovery call yan then here you can um, decide how many uh, minutes yung maglalas itong appointment na to. So, uh, m most likely kapag mga, let's say, discovery call, it's gonna be an hour or 30 minutes. So, or 30 minutes to 1 hour. So, let's just say this service duration is gonna be 60 minutes or 1 hour. You can decide kung kailan lang to available for your client or leads to book. So, let's just say 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so I can click on confirm, but I can also select advanced settings to be able to customize my calendar better. Okay, so in this section, ayan, may aso pa, diba? Um, in this section, pwede kayo mag-upload ng inyong um, logo. So, para to customize yung feel ng calendar, you can add a logo, which is I would recommend. Here, you can also provide a description. This is um, a calendar for JTBA. I don't know what description you want. And then here, you can also decide which group you want this to be part of. Kasi nga, you are creating a service calendar. Mamaya ko na ipapakita kung paano yun. But here, you can also rename how you'd like that appointment invite to look like within your uh, within your calendar. So guys, mamaya ituturo ko sa inyo to ha. But, just a quick, ito, ipakita ko na nga lang. So itong contact name, uh, may sa default, di ba, na sineselect niya from the system kung ano yung contact name nung nag-book ng call. So, to be able to get more custom values para mas may makita pa kayong ibang data, you can go to custom fields. So, that's settings and then custom fields. Tapos, hinapin niyo lang kung ano yung custom fields that you'd like to show up in your calendar. Pwede niyo siyang i-customize. So, for example, contact name, tapos may phone number, but it's easier for you to call that person. Okay? And then, in here, you can also customize yung color and don't forget to also select which is gonna be the meeting location para automated na yan na whenever somebody book, they will also be receiving the Zoom um, link for this booking. Okay, so here I can decide, okay, this is gonna show up purple in my calendar and this is gonna show up under, or yung default naming video conference location is gonna be Zoom. I can modify here availabilities. And you can also modify if you want to look busy. So, like, decide on how many percentage of the time you want to look busy. And then, I think this is the most important, um, I would say, option as well, yung service interval, para ma-modify or ma-configure mo how you'd like to manage this calendar. So, for example, I don't want anyone to book anything a day before. So, you no, normally, ganun ako eh, kasi I don't want to be shocked na within the day somebody book a call. So, I would normally say one day before yung prior na scheduling notice. I can also say service interval. Ito po yung interval on how often booking slots appear on the calendar. So, Example, 30 minute interval before another appointment um, is booked. Okay, so you can do 30 minutes para may, para may buffer time ka. So, the same din yan ng buffer time. Yan, para may buffer time ka right after or before. And service duration again is 60 uh, minutes. Date range, ito po yung until when you'd like yung calendar mo to be available. So, let's say for the next 120 days para pwede silang mag-book for that next 3 months window. Um, and then, don't forget to save and then, this is the most uh, fun part. You can also have, you can go ahead and select, balik ako dun sa forms and payment, you can select which one you'd like to use uh, for them to fill out when booking a call. So guys, this is connected to a form, okay? So, I will have a different tutorial for that, but by default, pwede nyo namang iselect yung default na what we already have in, in the calendar setting. Pero kasi, if you plan to um, attach this to a certain form pwede din. So, here you can be like anybody that filled out um, this form coming from the calendar, ito yung mga information that we will be collecting. But again, for now, let's just say it's default. Okay? Here you can uh, modify the confirmation message. So, makikita nyo dito yung confirm mes confirmation message na marireceive nila right after booking the call. Um, you can even add a Facebook pixel for uh, I mean, for analytics or for, you know, for tracking purposes. Okay? Um, and if it's a paid, if it's a paid consult, pwede rin po. But you have to be able to integrate your payment integrations, which is not available for now for us kasi wala tayong function yan here in the Philippines, okay? So, here, you can also automate the notification. Uh, so, you can send an automatic acknowledgement once they have booked a call to you. 
to your contact of course and to the assigned person who book or, or who who will receive this appointment in, in your case ikaw lang naman yun so if you want to be notified go right ahead Plus, you can also enable you know to send invitation email directly to them and assign to respective service member if that's needed or you can skip that okay so for now i'm just going to disable it um you can also provide them an available option to reschedule and to cancel so just make sure that um you can set up the time so let's say you know rescheduling link can be done within 60 minutes time um the same thing 60 minutes before the meeting okay uh, this additional notes is only will actually show up in your calendar. So, ibig sabihin kapag nagbook yan in your Gmail, these are the additional notes that will be available in there. If you want to include more details, again, you can use the custom fields. So, for example, other than that, I want to include the place of birth, which is, I'm not sure if that's, or date of birth, <laughs> kung gusto niya lang naman. Pero, what I'm just saying is you can always use the custom fields, kung ano mang information you'd like to include as a notes in your calendar. Okay, what's, once that's done, click on save. And now you can customize. Again, you can add um, service cover. So, kunwari, ito is discovery call. So, you can upload a Canva file na dimension is 180 by 180 pixel. I don't have anything prepared. So, hindi na muna ako maglalagay. But I can, you know, you can modify or customize this calendar however you want. Pwede rin po kayong mag CSS code if you're familiar with that. Okay. Um, normally, ang service calendar is really applicable for, alam yan, kapag mga, um, what I would say, events, plays, mga ganyan, or if you have, let's say, music, you're in the music industry, tapos mag-book sila ng, let's say, ng mga, ano to, service equipments, like guitars, type, uh, stuff like that, pwede nyo rin gamitin ito. Pero since I, I, I am only doing this for my, sir, as a service calendar for my business, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, Okay. Um, actually, dapat ni name ko to appropriately kasi I just said JTVA name. Pero, dapat, I could have said, so, kunwari, this calendar is for discovery call. Ayan. So, discovery call. Click on save. Okay. So, that's done. Okay. That's now created. Remember, this is a service calendar. So, you wanna be able to create at least two calendar links, no? Within the service calendar. Para may dalawa silang calendar option okay so uh let me create a group so this is jtva calendar pwede kayong mag, mag click ng template and this is gonna be called jtva calendar Ayan. right and here i can move this to the jtva calendar theme para makita niyo yung um sinasabi ko Okay, and then, now, other than this cover call, I also want to have another calendar. So, we will be creating another calendar. So, that one is for this cover call. The other one naman, I want to have a onboarding call. Calendar. Ayan. So, ito, onboarding call. Hindi ko naman siya pagagandahin. Okay, so, the same thing. Pwede nyo siyang i-edit. Pero, for now, ah, uh, taken. Okay, JTBA. So, hindi ko mo na siya edit para lang makita nyo, no? So, yan. Dalawa na siya. But then, I would like to move this over to my group calendar. So, the reason why we wanna do this, guys. So, instead of individual calendars na isha-share mo kay client, you can go to groups. And then, from here, when you copy the schedule link, open lang ako ng new tab, new window. Ayan. So, dalawa na siya. Alright, so meron kayong onboarding call and discovery call. Again, please customize the way it looks. Just never mind the looks kasi hindi ako naglagay ng mga cover um, cover uh, tawag cover image for these calendars but you can always customize this. And you can add descriptions. Pwede nyo pa itong pagandahin. But what I'm saying is here, you can see that they can book an onboarding call if they click on that. They can click on the time. And then mag-fill out to, ma-upload na sa system. And they can even book a discovery call in here as well. So, diba? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, now, bawin nyo na yung 399 pesos nyo. So, just learn how to customize it. Actually, the calendar can also be added into funnels. Pero, I'm not gonna discuss it on, the, on this video yet. 
Okay, so next na lang. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Pero this, I, I, I wanna say that this is gonna be, iniisip ko ito na yung first assignment natin, no? Kasi pinakamadali, right? I think you only need to have a Gmail account in order for you to connect or to create your calendar link. Para pag may client na kayo, guys, diba? Ang, ang professional, bibigyan nyo na sila ng calendar link to book a call with you, right? So, there you go. Thank you guys so much and have a nice day.